Hey oh my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo Let's Build. Today we're going to jump off, start things off by doing something a little bit different. We are doing a 800% speed build here. And as you saw in the last episode, I was making some good money and as you can see in the bottom left here, I am at about $18,000. So uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Blubber who did this nice little garden area for his uh, little adventure area in enclosure and it kind of inspired me to do something similar. Wanted to do a garden with a pond introducing you to a whole new enclosure area and I was also, you know, we played mess around with the boars and the ostriches in, in the one of the previous episodes right when we went bankrupt and we noticed that the boars like to share the enclosure space with other animals so i thought wouldn't that would be a good opportunity to make a big savanna like a big giant uh, open sprawling african style area with tons and tons of different animals so like the zebras the ostrich the boars uh, some antelopes and stuff like that just different a whole slew of different animals so uh, in order to do that I, I figured I want to make this big opening area but start started off with a nice welcoming garden and you see that you can walk left or right and it just expands outward and wraps all the way around and then I wanted to build a overhead viewing area for the savannah so the guests can actually walk up some stairs walk right to the middle and look down at all the animals so we're finally getting into the thick of things where I'm getting comfortable with the game a little bit. You know, I didn't get to try the alpha or anything. I'm doing the beta just like everyone else for my first time. So it's all, it's all been overwhelming. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's nice to be able to get in here and finally do a little bit of a speed build. However, it, it is a painful process because as you can see here, the... The rotation and stuff doesn't necessarily work properly like it's supposed to. Uh, when you push the X key, the hot keys aren't really working, so you have to like literally manually re-grab them, move them. Just so the quality of life things for building are just simply not there. So building in the beta really takes like five times longer than it should. So it, it is a bit of a painful process. As you can see, this is eight times speed, and all I'm doing is moving. Uh, some shrubs across the outside of these railings and uh, that alone took me uh, like a m couple minutes there <laughs> which in planet goes would go 10 times faster so yeah I'm just like filling up this area with all sorts of stuff it's going really quickly based on this uh, eight times speed so yeah uh, it, it, it was fun doing something decorative something fancy and I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff like this and maybe even a custom uh, building or something so I'm playing around with the water effects it's hard to see it here but you will get a look at it later on in this episode so we're gonna build for you know uh, between five to seven minutes we're halfway through the speed build now and then I'm gonna switch over to a real-time recording where we're kind of doing like a park spotlight so it's half speed build half park spotlight and I'm gonna let you guys have a closer look at everything in in a few minutes here see that the problem with management though in this game is you know I see uh, issues popping up as I'm building and I'm like, ah, I gotta go fix this. So it, it does interrupt the speed build. It'll be much nicer when we have sandbox mode. So I was gonna say something about wildlife there and I decided to change my mind and I'm trying to think of a word and then I was like, ah, let's call it savanna. So I thought that was uh, suitable there. So we're, we're gonna, this is the savanna area and uh, I like the pre-made letters that come with the game. Unfortunately, you can't select them all and color them one by one. The small, painful quality of life things just simply aren't there. So we have our little pond up top that has a waterfall going into the bottom pond there. And then just kind of put some wood logs to hold it up, doing them at different various heights. And just, just something to hold it up there. Didn't really want to fiddle with it for too long. So it is what it is. But it's looking pretty good. It's a nice little welcoming pond. And as you can see, the uh, pathways wrap around. So it was a little bit of a jump cut there between recordings. I did a back way, uh, what do you call it? Employee path that wraps around the back of the garden because we're gonna need uh, a water servicing station for that pond so it doesn't go dirty. And then whatever water we add to the back of the savanna is also gonna need water service. And then all the animals and stuff are gonna need uh, keepers and keeper huts being fed. So we've added in 
the little servicing station back there and it's nice and far away from any guest paths so they're not going to see that and you can see i'm, I'm almost creating like a, a, a diamond shape or something and a nice big fat walkway at the top and here i want to add some water just some some of the different various animals can go for a swim and uh you know get get something to drink there so we're just trying to fill up the water I, i've been having struggles with the game in the water where it over spills higher than it's supposed to so you got to kind of like create a lip so that's what i'm trying to do here smooth it create a lip so if you just grab the uh, pull tool on a very light intensity and just kind of bring it up just a tad all the way around there you go finally get that in and then i noticed the water <laughs> wasn't quite in range of the servicing area so i had two choices either reduce the water and move the location or create a servicing area at the back there and i was having a trouble doing that where it wasn't overlapping the path but still allows us to get the water so we had to do this little ugly service area at the back but as the park expands out that way it shouldn't be too much of a problem so that's the main core area and then uh in terms of like the decorating the main decorating i didn't actually get that into the speed build because i didn't know what i needed and then i have to add animals and the problem is what you don't know what animals are available to you because the marketplace uh, sometimes it fails to uh, bring in the animals sometimes the animals aren't available so over several hours i kept on refreshing and trying to get different animals and now as I, as I was getting them in, I was realizing what I needed and stuff. So we'll talk more about that in just a second. But you got to see the fundamentals of me building a new layout, a nice garden. So let's jump into the actual game and take a closer look, shall we? All righty, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in game at the Savannah. Boom, there's a nice little garden that we made there. Quite happy the way this turned out. Thank, thanks again to uh, Blubber for the inspiration doing a nice little garden pond got me inspired to do my own as well so i really like the way this turned out it is quite sharp it's a great way to welcome the guests we have some information and donations that people can drop off on their way in and then as they come around either left or right this is the savannah so yeah, I, I, I added decorations as I went. It really, they didn't really want any decorations until I put the warthogs in. It's the warthogs that wanted a lot of the trees and stuff. And it seems like it's a nice balance where most of them uh, are, are pretty happy with the coverage. So it's like I was just about to break the coverage where it was too much for them uh, and not enough for certain ones. And, and you know, I found a nice balance. So everybody's happy. And it is quite a sprawling area. I love the overhead walkway, the way this turned out. I don't know why the guests are falling, jumping over the railings. That's a little dangerous. But yeah, there's some information up here. We got, how do, how do we look at this? We got education. Where's the education? So we have a ton of education. Uh, education points all throughout. Ooh, what's going on with this one? Looks like we didn't pick an animal. Okay. No power. Hmm. Is it just out of range? It is. Whoops. That's interesting because it was in range. I wonder if the power fluctuates. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I checked that. Because, yeah, because we have only a certain amount of power, we can't really do any of that stuff here. But that is quite fine. So... I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out with the servicing area back here. And with that said, uh, I saw some complaints from the guests saying, you know, they wanted more food and drink shops. So I added a small little food court here. I really want to do something pretty and decorative and do something with the, the build pieces and stuff like that. But right now, it's Planet Zoo. It's all about, like, learning the animals, the areas, the enclosures. So that is my focus, at least for the first few days here playing the game. And uh, trying to mess around with these different things like an overhead uh, view area. I also want to do an underground view area. Like that first tutorial, there was this little cave with the, uh, what was it, the snow leopard. And people could look through the, the glass into the cave there. So there's so many things that I want to do, but I'm struggling because the research isn't working. You guys saw me researching stuff, but now I can't seem to get it to work. Oh, this one maybe might have finished but other people are saying that the mechanic research for like new world theming barriers all this cool stuff that you would be able to play with it, a lot of people are reporting that it's not working i researched the habitats and it just 
wasn't finishing. Uh, I had a, a mechanic in there for like a year. So some unfortunate things with the beta that is like limiting our creativity at the moment and then also our ability to get things to work properly. Like I got all these guys in here and look I got this warning here saying the, the, this, the common warthog is close to death. And I don't know what to do because I have the this things here. I hired extra, like they're making food. And they're just not doing it fast enough. And I have, I hired extra zookeepers. If we look here, there's three different keepers. Two of them are working, one of them's commuting. We have keeper houses right by the savanna here. It wasn't very long before these animals started starving. Not long at all, I just got them in here. These, these were like my most recent ones. I, they haven't been in here for more than 10, 20 minutes and they're starving. None of the dishes are getting filled up. It's quite frustrating. And I don't know if that's like me playing the game wrong or if that's the beta just not functioning properly. So I, you know, I had this big grandiose plan for tons and tons of animals in here. And uh, it's just sad to find out that some of them are gonna die here, especially because it took me so long to get the freaking warthogs. Because when you come in here to the uh, animal trading, you are limited to what's available. So I've been filtering by cash only because that's all we have available right now. And then as you can see here, uh, if I, I have a notepad that I wrote down what I need, let me pull this up. So I still need male buffalo. Be, uh, otherwise, if I put the buffalo, the females in here, they'll be unhappy if there's no male. So I just had to disable the music. I'm putting the music in the background myself. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I need male zebras, but I can't get them. No matter how much I refresh this, I never get them. And then I was looking for the uh, the warthogs, and when I was uh, tried to adopt them, it would fail every single time, succeed this time. So every time there was a male warthog, I went to buy it, and it, it would fail. So small beta bug there and it took me probably 30 tries and th and that's hoping that the warthog actually was in there and i'm still looking for like the antelope and the spring box they they want to be in groups of 10 to 40 and that's both male and female so i need t 10 to 40 spring box and at least uh 10 female antelope with one male and i still don't have a male antelope and i've been refreshing this see it's always females that i'm getting and uh yeah so i just keep refreshing this i can't get a male buffalo i can't get a male zebra i can't get a male spring box or antelopes and that's making them unhappy i finally get the warthogs in here they just arrived and they're already starving <laughs> I don't understand it. I've got a great amount of keepers and I've got the keeper dens there. Everything's being taken care of, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not trying to complain. I'm just being informative of what's going on and sharing some of my frustrations because what I want to do here is make this sprawling, but I feel like I'm fighting with the game. You know, it's, it's kind of messing with my vision a little bit. However, with all that aside, I still am pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm trying to keep it off play mode because I'm afraid, well, you know what, whatever happens, happens. Oh, look, we got a little baby ostrich oh my god oh speaking of which we also have baby cubs or not cubs uh pups look at this i don't know how big the litter was but there's a bunch of them one two three four it's at least four but now that they've uh had some pups i think that might be affecting their space. Okay, no. There's still plenty of space, which is good. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's the first, you know, babies that I've had in the game. This first litter, I should say. Turtle's still chilling out. Doesn't look like we have any baby turtles or anything yet. And how's our bears doing? So I had an issue with the bears and their cleanliness. I believe I was talking about that in the last episode. Is it? It's happening again. This is ridiculous. See, the keeper walks in and he's just like, I'm out of here. I do not know why. I've packaged up the bears, kicked them out. I've moved the door. I've cr tried creating pathing so that the keepers can get in here. There's just dirt everywhere and the keepers don't know what to do. They just turn come in here and then they turn around what what's he doing with this package oh yeah i i really don't know how 
to fix this. Call keeper to habitat en route. You'll see, let's speed it up here. Actually, no, I don't want to speed it up. I heard somebody lose all their money by speeding up the game. We'll just wait it out. And look at this, transformer failing, transformer failing. All these things are failing. Where's our mechanic at? So if I, I, I look where the mechanic is, the last time I did this, oh, I froze the game. Oh, there we go. Last time I checked the mechanic. Okay, he, so he's doing something. I think we just need a second mechanic at this point. I, I definitely do that, uh, do know that. But I was having issues with things breaking down and the mechanic not fixing them. He just got stuck randomly. He, uh, yeah, just got stuck. Something is seriously wrong with this enclosure though. Uh, there, he's fixing walls. Here comes our keeper. There's poop everywhere and we need you to clean it. Please, for the love of God. Pull that vacuum of yours. So she's bringing the food over. So is... Is it the uh, janitor? Sometimes these janitors get stuck. Maybe, maybe we get a second janitor. I don't know. See, now they're protesting because the bears are disgustingly dirty. I packaged up the bears and then oh oh yeah there you go clean up see I just needed to complain in, in a live video there we go are you dirty still it's been really difficult there we go yeah so I didn't change anything um, it's just a roll of the dice I feel it's just cer certain AI not doing their stuff so, hopefully our... Okay, they got fed. Good, good. Whew. And we are still turning a profit, I hope. I mean, our upkeep's gonna go through the roof because of all these new things we've been adding. Alright, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. My only frustration right now is trying to get those males. Uh, I want more of everything in here. And I want to show you the space that we have. 8,500 and all they require is 2,600. But that number keeps going up as I more add more and more to the savannah. So uh, there's so much room still. Like you can see there's no animals in this area. But they, they have so much room to just kind of explore. So I, I, I want to do some micromanagement off uh, off off screen here off recording and uh, just make sure that they have the right amount of beds because I don't even know how this works because there are so many different kinds of animals in here it's like who decides to live in here who decides to eat from that pen how do I organize this it's chaos there's so much to learn here and then you have the the, the problem of is it gonna work properly in the beta so it seems to be going pretty good and I'm so happy we got this little baby it's adorable it's starting to breed a little there's so many freaking animals it's ridiculous chirp 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 Wow a whole bunch of them yeah this is definitely my favorite spot my best creation look how many people are here the people also love it I thought these uh four four meter paths would have been enough uh, but they're there it's like a lineup trying to get in here <laughs> it's quite incredible I must say it, we are thriving maybe I need to get a few more donation bins pop down here since I mean it's it's just gonna give them less space to move around but you know what while they're standing in line they can throw some change in there this is phenomenal so I'm really oh that tree's sticking out of the ground whoops so yeah definitely a nice accomplishment here like that savanna is bigger than anything that I've made so far it was definitely worth the investment it it looks really nice I, I just need to kind of like make the outskirts kind of nice and that'll happen as we expand the zoo I don't know what I'm gonna do next though as you can see from the animal trade center I've banked a bunch of animals Oh, let's double check if there's any new males in. Lots of spring box. See, the pronghorn antelope is not what I'm looking for, though. Nothing. Nothing that I need. I think this is my biggest frustration with the, the beta or the franchise mode. I don't. I hope it's not like this on release, but uh, the fact that we can't earn these conservation credits is really haltering my ability to get what I need to build but when I've been seeing things uh, pop up I've been buying them so you can see we have the female buffalo ready to go we just need a male this one's still being delivered this one should have been delivered 
Let's move the warthog in. Mm, I want to make a hippo area. We have two females and a male, so that that's a definite possibility. I bought out all the peafowls that I could find, so uh, they like to be in groups. And you can see I got a bunch of males, a bunch of females. So definitely we're ready to go on the peafowl area. I got some lemurs, two males and a female. So I think that'll be a fun one to do because you get to build the little jungle gyms. Uh, apparently like the guests can actually go in the enclosure and have monkeys climb on them and stuff. That sounds really, really fun. So look, looking at what we have in stock, I think we should do a lemur and a peafowl area next. Maybe even a small little hippo area. And we just got to keep refreshing to see you know, if the buffalo have come in yet. Because if we look at our Zoopedia here, we want to build, like, our savanna needs to have all these animals. So we have a lot of the ostriches. They're breeding, so I think we're good on that. The warthogs, well, there's one male in there. Hopefully he didn't die. Yeah, hopefully he didn't die. I'll, I'll double check to make sure he's in there. But with the two or three females that are in there, they should start breeding. We need a male because it's just females right now and eventually they'll die off. So we need a male so that they can start breeding. Uh, you can't get the giraffes or the elephants without conservation points. So we're just looking for male antelopes and spring box. And once we get those, all of these animals will be breeding away in here with tons and tons of room to grow so much to a point where like I can just keep letting them breed and I don't have to sell them off. Look at this little guy. <laughs> just trucking along it's phenomenal so phenomenal so hopefully they clean up this area and i don't start having an issue so i've been my biggest issue right now is the enrichment so in order to make them truly happy we need the research so we can we can get enrichment but the um the research is just not completing i don't know why it's just been sitting there and people in discord are saying that the research is not working for them and if i can't get the research to go their welfare is always going to be low and now the cleanliness is being a problem over here so keep her on route so between them being fed and cleaning it's looking like we're going to need a lot more keepers I'm, I'm surprised how much people like this overhead pass to the point where they won't even come back here. The, the food that I added, nobody, they wanted more drinks. Our mechanics aren't doing their jobs. <laughs> so between the keepers and mechanics, I just can't seem to get them to keep up. So I'm going to hire more, I guess. It seems like we're making a big enough profit. Maybe that'll help. Uh, I think I might want to start thinking about designing a work roster for this area and this area. I know in the one of my previous episodes I said don't do that because you kind of just want them to do whatever is available to them. So we'll see. Lots of things to work out on the management front, but I don't know if it's working as intended. So hopefully when the actual release comes out, I'm like not finicking around and struggling with some of the stuff as much because it's it's been slowing down the process and my ability to build. Are the bears still clean? They are. So we don't have a bear cleanliness problem, but we now have a cleanliness issue over here. So we just got to get the vacuums running over here. They're going to be vacuuming full time with this many animals. So I, I think what we'll do is get a keeper on a work roster just for this area. Now, I, I think you can actually assign certain keepers to just clean. So we might have to do that. Just have like one guy constantly vacuuming this area. But man, there's so much micromanagement in this game. It's ridiculous what's this happening can't find can't find an accessible staff center with space oh he needs a break i think it'd be good to have a staff center over here because we have all this new stuff staff building let's put it right there there you go buddy now that now this the, the side of the park has a break area as well water treatment failed it's a disaster notification after notification and i've just gotten started i have four enclosures and <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster trying to keep up with this. Oh, good googly moogly. So one thing I do want to do is one of my mini projects. I talked about this in the previous episode is I want to build, get rid of the water because they're just not using the water and build a gazebo because I don't like these three buildings. I didn't put much effort into them. Try to build something really pretty so when you come in, you see this fantastic gazebo. So that might be one of my side projects. We want to do a monkey and uh, peafowl area. So maybe we can sneak one of those in here and just kind of, and maybe one here and just kind of like link all of this up into one nice circle and then just continue expanding. But what do we do after that? 
because like we're we've kind of run out of animals like the big thing that you do here is the the savannah has everything and in terms of our animal trade center we've pretty much bought everything we can other than like the wild dogs there's these tapers Mm, gems bok, hippos, mandrels, lizards. There's a few more things we can do. I, I think maybe like five or six at most. And then uh, and then we've kind of capped out what we can do with the beta. But what we can do is focus on doing a little bit more decorative things like this and just really pushing those areas. Because now, now that I've gotten a feel for things, I'm kind of wishing I did a little bit more with the wolves' den. Maybe more some, something mountainous and very hilly where the paths go in and the guests can actually kind of like interact and walk maybe uh, through caves or something. You know, some, something a little bit more interesting than these, these flat squared off areas. But we were learning the game and I think now I'm getting the feel for things. We're profitable and and now we can start doing some cool stuff like we did here still having fun with it and I'm, I'm actually really excited for the full release where a lot of the stuff is working properly and I can really push things and and, and do things to my liking uh, play with the pieces and just have fun with it boom yeah it doesn't hurt to uh, go back to these areas though so if I run out of things to do I can I can consider remodeling this area doing something a little bit more mountainous same with the bear region we can expand upon that once they start having cubs and stuff so yeah it's, it's never too late we're making a profit now or are we profit loss okay it's it's evening out all that new stuff that we just added in is hurting our economy it looks like I'll figure it out I gotta balance it's been one crazy balancing act and all I want to do is be creative you can definitely uh, see how that would become frustrating right and the fact that we don't have sandbox mode is is, is interesting because I think sandbox mode would have been the way to go to showcase the game just let people do whatever they want with unlimited money and just have fun whereas franchise mode feels incomplete because a lot of the features aren't working and that's the thing that you would want to play at release and right now it'd just be fun to just build stuff with unlimited cash so it, it, it's definitely a, a, a tricky balancing act and man i really should have made this bridge bigger half these things i, I never know how they're going to work out until i do them but I'm gonna be well educated on some of the stuff going into the release. So learn from our mistakes, try to do everything just a, a, a tad bit better the next time around. Boom. All right, I think I'm talked out for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments, and suggestions down in the comments below. Let me know what you would like to see next and how you're liking the series so far and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for more daily Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo content and come join us on Discord. We are open to the public. Both Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo are integrated together. If you guys want to support the show, please do check out my Patreon page. Links are down in the description. Boom. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.